everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is India Gantz. I'm a model and winner of America's Next Top Model back in 2017. And I love making videos about the modeling industry and just spilling the tea on America's Next Top Model and reality TV as a whole. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing just that. I'm gonna be talking about that hotel room from hell that I have mentioned several times in all of my various videos about America's Next Top Model, but I've never really gone super in depth on the subject and giving you all the juicy details. So today's video is going to be all about that hotel room and basically uh, to give you an idea they put us into these hotel rooms by ourselves without anything to do. They took away everything and it was a very very small space and we had like almost no human interaction all day and we were in that room locked up for five or seven days. I can't really remember but we were locked up in there before the show and they did a bunch of tests on us and yada yada yada. So I'm gonna tell you all about that experience and what it was really like to be in that situation. And I don't know if this is all reality television or just America's Next Top Model, but I'm just telling you about my personal experience with pre-filming lockdown, essentially. Thank you to my uncle for giving me the idea for this video. I didn't realize it's actually like so interesting for people to hear the real nitty gritty details of this type of situation because in all my other videos I've always just said like oh yeah it was torturous worst experience ever but now today is a day we are going into a very detailed explanation of that whole experience so without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> all right so we were picked up from the hotel in these little buses not little they fit like 12 people or something but we were picked up and we were immediately instructed not to talk to anybody don't look at anybody um, try your best not to interact with anyone else that you see on the bus because they might be your future competitors and the reason that they did that I, I ended up asking them eventually and it's so that once you meet actually on camera it's like you've never met before so they don't want us to like start developing friendships and relationships before the show actually begins they want that big reveal to be our actual first time meeting and asking each other's names and things like that so that makes sense I guess but anyways I remember I was on the bus with Cherish and some other girls that I don't really remember but Cherish and I definitely like made eye contact and smiled it was a cute little moment but anyways we went back to the hotel and I saw girls everywhere like all in the lobby and I actually saw Kyle and I thought for a minute are we gonna have boys on this season <laughs> because they had done boy girl seasons the year before us and the year before that season and I didn't know if we were gonna have boys or girls. But anyways, I saw Kyle and she is very androgynous. And so I was like, oh my gosh, are there guys on this season? But anyways, there were not. And so anyways, there's all these girls in the lobby and we just like weren't allowed to talk to each other, trying not to like look at each other. But eventually somebody took me up to my room or the suitcase checking zone or whatever. So basically what that was, was this. We went up to this area and we had to unzip our bags. And I think they asked us for our cell phones, so we gave them that and they sealed that up and we didn't see that until the end of filming two months later. So said my final goodbyes on my phone and then sent that away with them. And then from there, they took so much stuff out of my bag. They told us beforehand that we weren't allowed to have any clothes with logos. So I tried my best not to bring anything that just like said Nike across the front or like anything too obvious. But I didn't realize that they were also gonna be taking any clothes with words, with bands, like, you know, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, whatever, anything with sports teams, any of that. So they took all of that, which I think unfortunately is why my personal style didn't quite shine through on the show because I think a lot of my style is like rocker tees and, um, you know, ripped jeans or whatever. And I wasn't able to wear any of my rocker tees. You couldn't even wear something, not that I would wear this, but if it said like peace and love or something, no, you're not allowed to have anything with words, anything like that. So they took away a lot of our clothes and unfortunately some of it we never got back. I think they just threw them into garbage bags and mixed some people's up and there were definitely some pieces that I never saw again. So that's unfortunate, but good thing I didn't have anything of value back then. So in addition to the clothes and the cell phones, they took away any books that we brought. Now, I didn't know that that was gonna be a thing, so I brought several books and like magazines and things like that. But because I guess copyright issues with the titles of the books or 
you know, showing Us Weekly or something, if any of that gets caught in a shot while filming the TV show, they would have to blur it out and that costs extra money and this and that. So they took away all of our books and magazines, our clothes, our cell phones, what am I missing? They then inspected our iPods. They told us we were gonna be allowed to bring an iPod. So I brought a little tiny iPod shuffle and I don't know why, I think it was like a last minute decision, but I only loaded about 15 songs onto that iPod. So I listened to those 15 songs over and over and over again throughout the season. But they had to check our iPods to make sure that they didn't have internet capabilities. That was the one requirement because then you could like get on Facebook or Instagram or try to text or email, things like that. And they wanted us to have zero communication. So they inspected our iPods to make sure that they weren't able to do any of that. But I was able to keep that along with my headphones so that I could listen to music. But it was really weird. Like they allowed us to listen to music when we were on ice, which means uh, when the cameras are off. So they don't want us talking when the cameras are off. So they allow us to listen to music. But I can't remember what I did. I think I was like, playing tic-tac-toe with one of the other girls when we weren't supposed to be communicating or something. And as punishment, they took away my iPod. Oh, that really got to me. And I think I kind of got emotional over it because that was kind of my saving grace throughout the show was getting to listen to my music because no cell phones, hardly any calls back home, no books, no TV, no anything. So that music was kind of my, my life during the show. And so when they took that away, it really, hurt me, but I, for some reason, was on like this punishment where I had to ask a producer if I was allowed to use my iPod, whereas the other girls could just pull it out of their backpack and start listening to it. I had to like check mine out. So very weird. And that is just one example of how strict production is. And they really will punish you if you don't follow the rules. So anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself, but they're going through our suitcases. And one other thing that they did let me bring was a DVD player. And they had to make sure that this didn't have any internet capabilities as well. And that, you know, our CDs are just CDs, DVDs of movies, nothing else. So they inspected all of that and they did let me keep my DVD player. Although <laughs> we only got like one day off, I think during the show. And I actually wish we hadn't. It was one of the most boring days in history because all the rules still apply. You still don't have anything to do. And we don't have any expectations for the day, like a photo shoot or a challenge or something like that. So our one day off was like so stinking boring, I can't even tell you. So I decided, oh, this would be a great opportunity for me to whip out the DVD player. So all, it must've been 10 of us or something, gathered around on the couch in like a huddle around my DVD player that was probably next to my head about this big, like the tiniest screen. And I had like three discs of friends. So we popped that in and all watched on this tiny, tiny screen. And as you may have guessed, within about 10 to 15 minutes, the producers ended up taking away the DVD player because we were being too boring. Like who wants to watch a TV show where girls are just sitting around watching TV? Obviously that's pretty boring, but it was our day off and it was like our one chance we thought to watch TV and just chill and they took that away. So we ended up just sitting around talking, trying to play games, things like that. I mean. It is so boring, guys. We don't have cell phones, books, magazines, TV, music that we can play like for all of us. We have none of that. And we're only allowed to have our own music when we're on ice. So our off day was just so freaking boring. All right, but this video is not about the show itself. It's about the hotel room before the show. So let's get back on topic. So once they took away all that stuff that I mentioned from our suitcases, in our rooms, we had a TV with only cable, no like Netflix, Hulu, anything like that, um, or movies that we could buy. It was just cable television. And then there was a bed, there was a little nightstand with a phone on it that we were not allowed to use, big, big trouble if they found out you were using that phone. And then the bathroom. And I don't know how to describe it to you guys. The hotel room was so small. Like I would guess about 10 feet by 10 feet, like the smallest room you could possibly imagine to where the only physical activity that I could do were lunges in place. It was so, so small. I was just doing this to like stay active. And that is all I could do. There was no room to like jump or anything like that. It was tiny. And so I was just doing lunges to 
stay active and like not freaking die of boredom. So other things that I did in the hotel room, literally like a lot of lunges and abs and then I would watch like Spongebob was on. I remember I watched a lot of Spongebob. There was just like no good TV for some reason. You know how some hotel TVs, the cable is just like not up to par. And this was an example of that. It was really crappy television. But one other thing that I did bring with me that they let me keep were this blank pair of sneakers. As you guys might know if you follow me on Instagram and and stuff, um, I used to draw on shoes. So I would get like a plain white pair of Vans and take a Sharpie and just do really intricate kind of drawings and designs on these shoes. I'm like slightly out of breath from those lunges. How embarrassing. <sighs> So a lot of my time in this hotel room, I sat there and drew on my shoes and I actually finished the shoes. So I had with me like a little gray backpack and I decided to start drawing on there too. So, I mean, the backpack is this tall or whatever and this wide. So little tiny drawings in Sharpie to fill the whole thing would occupy a lot of time. So I started doing that just to kill time in the hotel room. And then other than that, I mean, ugh, guys, like, Oh, I'm, I'm getting things out of order. So I'll say this first. So why they kept us in these rooms was so that, like I said, we wouldn't interact with the other girls before the official meeting on TV and so that they could do all of these pre-filming tests because, you know, they had to test us for various diseases, I think, and do blood work and stuff to make sure that we weren't gonna pass anything around in the house. And we had to do personality tests. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more, but we also had to do like, um, a couple of just digitals to see what we look like and a lot of different things but we would only get pulled out like once or maybe twice a day and there was one day where I did not have anything on my schedule unfortunately so I spent the entire 24 hours or whatever from start to finish in the room by myself. I obviously tried to take a lot of naps and I just watched TV and Oh, it's just so depressing and dark and small in that hotel room and I was all by myself no talking to anybody no phone calls you know couldn't even hardly exercise I was just really going mad especially that day I think that was the day where I started like talking to myself in the mirror and you know that sounds kind of stupid like a lot of people I talk to myself even now but it's like small things like oh my gosh why did I do that? Or, you know, things like that. But this was like looking into the mirror and being like, so how was your day? What do you want to do? Should we do lunges and, and then do sit-ups and then do more lunges and then watch SpongeBob? Should we see how far I can throw this paper airplane? That would be fun, don't you think? What are you doing with your day? I mean, like mental stuff, just talking about my day and telling myself about my day. And I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is my little taste of prison and I never want to go there. That was just awful. So, so, so awful. And I feel like this doesn't sound as bad as it was because we've now all been in lockdown and I sort of had a flashback to this time during the corona lockdown because I do live in a very small studio apartment and the hotel was very small and I was kind of trapped in my studio during corona and you guys have all been trapped at home during corona too but it still doesn't justify kind of like what they put us through I mean that is so inhumane at least when we're locked down at home we have our Netflix our cell phones um, we can go for walks get fresh air things like that I mean we had none of that I even one day decided to put that little hotel, you know, the latch thing. I put that in the door so that it sat open a little bit. And basically why I did that was so that if the producers were walking by and they just wanted to be like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like they were welcome to. I was like, door is open. Come in and talk to me whenever you want. But that did not last very long. The producer knocked on my door, came in and she's like, you have to unlatch this. It's a, it's a safety issue. And I was like, oh. I was going crazy. I mean, that day when I didn't have any appointments or anything, the only time that I actually saw another human being, actually, I didn't even see them. I didn't even see them. You wanna know what they did? You wanna see what they did? I'll show you what they did. So let's pretend like this is my meal for the day. And you know, this is my hotel room. So they would set my meal down on the ground and then they would knock and then like literally disappear. And so I didn't even get to interact with the producer. It was like, then I opened my door, took my meal in, 
closed it again and went back and ate by myself on the freaking bed of my hotel room while probably watching spongebob it was truly torturous and that part especially made it feel like jail because they just set it on the ground knocked and left like ran away like as if we're freaking animals or something it was awful and i was like what did i do to deserve this i mean it was definitely becoming not worth it in my mind and uh and i was just like oh my gosh is this the time where i quit like i don't think i can take this anymore and fun fact a lot of girls quit during this time so i think it's kind of their way to you know narrow down the girls a couple of girls left during this because it is just that crazy so i wanted to tell you more about that personality test so basically this was a very very long test and there were actually multiple girls in the room there were quite a lot of girls actually in the room but of course we weren't allowed to look at each other we weren't allowed to talk so she handed us this packet of paper like that thick i mean a hundred pages or something and it asked us so many questions about everything and anything like what would you do in this type of situation what would you do in that type of situation you hear that someone is talking about you behind your back. Um, how do you address that? What kind of people are you typically attracted to? How would you describe your personality? And it, yeah, so anyways, just a very, very long multiple choice test on most things. And you know, I was doing it for so long that I guess I answered one of them like not how I meant to. And that made it so that I had to have a special meeting with the counselor lady. And I remember the question, it was, when you're in the room, do you feel like other people are talking about you? And I put yes. I don't know why I did that. I guess it was just like, I don't know. I guess I was thinking people watching. And of course, you know, you kind of like notice other people and mention things or I don't know. I don't really know why I clicked yes, but I wish I hadn't because it made me have to meet with the counselor for quite a long time to talk about that issue and why do you feel that way and things like that. And I'm like, Girl, I, I didn't mean to do that. Like, I don't feel like people are talking about me. It's fine. Can we move on? On the other side of things, it was really nice because I got to chat with somebody and, you know, have a conversation. And I'm like, also, could we draw this out a little longer? So it was both ways. But anyway, so that was the personality test. Very weird, very intense, very specific questions. So eventually the hotel room from hell did end and we got to finally meet all the other girls and like move into our house and all that stuff. So that was great. But like, I think it was five or seven days. I really can't remember. But that time that we spent in the hotel room was just awful. And when I was finally able to meet some of the other girls, I got chatting with this one gal who was like, oh, I wanted to quit too. The producers, uh, it's hard. At least in the beginning, I can say that they really didn't treat us that well. Like they kept telling me to talk more or they'd kick me off and just a, a lot of different things. They got better towards the end once they got to know us and actually I got quite close with one of them and she even said she wanted her daughter to grow up like me. So, oh, I mean, that will stick with me forever. Anyways, they ended up being quite nice, but in the beginning, you know, they're very firm and strict with the rules and like just harsh, you know, not a lot of heart. So anyways, so this other girl and I got to talking and we're like, if this continues, I mean, I think we have to quit. We basically agreed, I think, if we made it to the next stage that we wouldn't do it. And she didn't make it and I did make it. And I was like, I've made it this far. I'm not freaking quitting, you know what I mean? So I'm really glad that I stuck it out, obviously. So just a little PSA, if you're ever trying to go into reality TV, it sucks a lot of the times especially in the beginning the rules are harsh and you just have to be ready to like be miserable for a little while and that's just part of it like i obviously wouldn't change anything i'm really happy that i did it and i'm happy how everything turned out but that first week was like something that i would not wish on my worst enemy it was awful and that's only a week i can't imagine people who have to go to prison and stuff like that oh makes me sick to my stomach so everyone be well behaved i'm gonna do the same but that is the story of the hotel. I hope that that answers most of your questions. I actually have some time on my hands because I'm visiting family. So if you guys wanna leave some comments and ask me any more questions about the hotel room, I'd be happy to answer them and I'll actually do it. I'm sorry that I'm not always the best with replying to comments, but on this specific subject and since I'm with family and have a bit of free time, please do ask me anything and I will get to your questions. Also, if you could, Give this video a like it really helps boost the video and join our family here on youtube and hit subscribe thank you for watching guys and i hope you liked the video i'll see you next time bye